Hi, I'm Rebecca Piper. I'm here today talking to Morgan Wilkins, Senior Director of Technical Services at Cisco. Morgan, thanks for coming today. You just gave a, a really interesting presentation. Could you give us a, an overview of what you've just been talking about? What I talked about was how Cisco's aftermarket supply chain has, over the course of about the last 15 years, developed uh, a very high level of agility, uh, driven by our customers, uh, and following them uh, as technologies have changed, as the markets have changed, um, to really be able to deliver an extremely high level of service in over 130 countries around the world in as little as two hours. You were talking about megatrends. Can you give us a definition of those and how they impact on Cisco? A megatrend is something that we see as having the potential to significantly disrupt business um, or, or society. Um, and it's something that we need to be able to pay attention to, to track, to understand its impact. And it could be um, changes in financial positions for, for certain currencies. Um, it can be things like the huge increase in data that we've seen generated by collaboration, by uh, the increased availability of various networks, by smart devices. So it, it's trends that are not necessarily specific to a particular industry, but really are at a societal level. And you've tried to capitalise on those mega trends, haven't you, to create the demand? Can you expand on that? Absolutely. So what we've looked at with those is, is understanding the mega trends that are most specific and most disruptive to the technology business that we're in. Um, we've, we've moved our business from core routing and switching which was our traditional uh, market base. It's still 60 to 70% of our business. But now we're moving out into data center networking, into uh, what we call edge devices. So we're into the wireless uh, applications. Uh, we provide software, um, but also now moving into the consumer space. Because what we see, the biggest mega trend, is the ubiquity of communication, uh, machine to machine, device to device. And the fact that the, the network now supports everything that we do. All of us have smart devices, uh, we have wireless in the home, the network is, is everywhere. So understanding how that's changing uh, is absolutely critical to us and making sure that we're supporting that is, is obviously critical to our customers. And you've used that to develop collaboration. Um, for example, you used Songzhou, South Korea as an illustration. Can you give us a little bit more information about that? Well, the, the the way that our supply chain operates and the global nature and the, 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 the scalability that's required um, has really driven us down a track that, that rather than building out our own facilities and, and, and putting our people everywhere in the world that our customers are, we've used third parties, we've outsourced. Um, we've had to link, um, link together with those uh, business partners um, using XML technology and their web services. And what we've learned from all of that, from all that agility, is a way to be able to support not just uh, a customer's network within a set of buildings. We've now moved on to uh, working with a number of partners in South Korea um, to be a major part of the Songdo development, which is the first smart and connected community. Um, there's over 20,000 people already living in Songdo. Um, and everything that happens within the, uh, within that city is networked, is connected, whether it's traffic flow, uh, how heating and ventilation works, how you access a building, everything is networked together. And we couldn't do that without our partners, without the investments we've made in technology and the understanding of what's important to a customer and where we need to be agile. 